Hey lovelies, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to make fried fish for some classic British fish and chips. Of course I'll be adding my Caribbean touch to it, so keep watching if you want to learn this simple and tasty recipe. I have just under 4 pounds of cod here. Haddock and pollock can also be used. Another important ingredient for this recipe is some cold bay. And it's not just because men love to eat this in the pub, but there's actually a chemical reaction that occurs in the batter when you add bay. The combination of the carbon dioxide, the foaming agents and the alcohol makes the batter light and crispy. If you don't have bay or you simply don't want to use it, use some seltzer or soda water instead. Non-alcoholic bay will also work. I have flour, salt, white pepper, bacon powder, scotch bonnet powder, cayenne pepper, and some Caribbean green seasoning. This is totally optional, of course. First, I'm cutting the fish into smaller pieces and I'll pat them dry with a paper towel. To make the batter, I have 3 cups of flour here, and to that, I'm adding the salt and white pepper, 1 tablespoon of bacon powder, 1 teaspoon of cayenne pepper powder, 1 teaspoon of scotch bonnet powder, and the green seasoning. This is just about a quarter cup of green seasoning. Mix it thoroughly and add the bay in. I'm using two 12 ounce cans of beer as well as a half can or six ounces of soda water. Whisk just enough to combine everything, but make sure you don't over mix it. The batter shouldn't be too thick or too thin. You see how this folds off the spoon? That's the ideal consistency. To fry, roll the cotton some dry flour and set it on a tray. Now dip it in the batter and add it to the pot of hot oil that's been heated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's just a little over medium heat. If the heat is too low, the crust will absorb too much oil and get soggy, and if it's too high, it'll get extra brown before the fish is completely cooked. Try to add similar sized pieces in at the same time and make sure you don't overcrowd the pot. Fry it for 6 to 8 minutes or until it has a lovely golden brown crust. Make sure you turn it a few times so it cooks evenly. For the thicker pieces of cod, you may need to fry them a bit longer. Once it's finished, place it on some cooling racks and sprinkle a bit of sea salt on top. And make sure you don't place them on top of each other or over paper towels because they'll get really soggy. It's my favorite part now, it's time to eat. Here I have my fish and chips with some tartar sauce and some lemon wedges. Traditionally, this was served in newspapers, but due to the hygiene concerns, the fake papers are used nowadays. This is also served with malt vinegar and mushy peas. I'm not a fan of malt vinegar, but I love mushy peas. As you can tell, the batter is nice and light, airy and crispy. I really hope you learned something new today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, I hope you give it a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe if you haven't. Keep well and stay safe. See you soon. Until next time. Bye.